Hello traders, Gary Wagner here, just about 12 o'clock in Honolulu, 6 o'clock in New York. It is Thursday, June 13th, 2019, and this is uh, the daily report for gold and silver. We have respectable gains across the board in the precious metals markets. This is a direct result of some conflicts in the Gulf of Oman, in which two oil tankers were hit, as well as the continued believe that the Federal Reserve is about to embark on a series of rate cuts. Couple that with the fact that the Chinese-United States trade war is still in limbo and completely unresolved, and you have the makings for a perfect storm in terms of the necessary underlying fundamental components to move precious metals higher, specifically gold. And to that end, let's take a look at our current pricing. We did enter a trade yesterday. We will talk about that, of course, in detail when we pull up our technical studies and talk about our upside strategy as well as our stop. But first, to the board. Traders, interesting action in the precious metals markets today. Gold gaining about $9, currently at $13.46 even up $9.20. That is a net gain of about seven tenths of a percent. We issued a trade alert yesterday. Traders taking that call, I believe we got in at 1339. We'll look at that specifically, but nonetheless a nice way to start the trade. Silver also tracking higher on the day, and in terms of the gain, it is approximately 14 cents at 14.89. Platinum had a small gain, about 90 cents at 811.40. And then finally, palladium continues on a tear, $1,442.10. Now, all of this with some very, very mild tailwinds from a U.S. dollar. And the U.S. dollar itself was down 0 0.070. So very, very fractional moves. Let's take a look at a couple of charts and detail this trade that we entered yesterday. Traders, an extremely interesting series of events that transpired over the last 24 hours that has been highly supportive of gold. As I was watching the market yesterday evening, I noticed some quick upticks in the market and it was obvious that there was something fundamental that was breaking, although at the time, I did not know what it was. I watched the market really trade from about 41 back up to 43, and then saw a little bit of weakness coming in, but all of the indicators led me to believe that the short, shallow correction that we had predicted had possibly concluded, considering that this market moved from 1270 up until these highs at 1350, and the correction or retracement then followed was just below the 0.23% retracement, not an obvious spot, caused me to wonder whether or not it would move lower or move back above this particular price point. Then we had yesterday's activity, which was a moderately strong up day, and we also talked about the fact that we could identify a variation off of a Three River Morning Star. The actual candlesticks themselves were perfect. The only thing that put it in the category of potential or variation was the fact that it typically comes after a defined downtrend. And if anything, this was not a defined downtrend. It was a couple of days lower after a correction. However, as the market moved back down, I felt comfortable. We did send out a special trade alert. Traders taking that call, we entered this market at 1339. I had a very, very tight stop because I wanted the stop to be right under this low here, which is 33 or right at it. So we're going to maintain the stop at 1333. We are long from 39. The market is at 1346.50. I do expect it to move higher. My current goal in terms of where I believe we could see this market move is going to be 1350. 1352 and I believe that it will take that out. That being said, if in fact we're correct and we have a closing price above 1352, it is up, up and away to challenge 1370. Because realize over the last three years, we have seen a tight 
tight trading range with an absolute top at 1370. Once it breaks above 1370, we should be headed to about 1400. Traders, what I mean to say by that is as I have been talking about over the last couple of weeks, I genuinely feel that we are on the really at the beginning of a major pivot point, a major change from the demeanor of gold and its return as a safe haven asset and its return to true rally mode. Luckily, we are once again positioned in this trade. We just got out of a trade on Sunday. We made 45% on that. I don't know what we'll make on this. First, I want to be able to move the stop up tight enough where we're protecting all of our equity. And at that point, we can look to see where it's going to go. But for right now, traders, recommendation, maintain your current long position, maintain your current stop. This has been Gary Wagner wishing you as always good trading. We will talk to you tomorrow for the weekly wrap up and review. Bye-bye.